Indian in America are from the tribe of Judah. You blacks that are found without the West Indian Islands, the tribe of Benjamin. You Mexicans, you are the tribe of Issachar. So-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Ephraim. And we're going to prove it out the Bible. Read what you got for me. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. future prophecy, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou would listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. That's the Bible today. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Not to do some of his commandments. All his commandments. Only ten of the commandments. To do all his commandments. Only the two great laws. All his commandments. You got to keep all the commandments of the Most High God. Read. And his statutes. And his statutes. Come on. Which I command thee this day. Uh-huh. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Sister, brother, did y'all know that? Did y'all know that God said that if we don't do his commandments, he's going to put curses on us? You understand that, sis? Y'all brothers and sisters, y'all understand that? That's why we at the bottom. That's why we on section eight. That's why we suffer the most at the hands of gun violence. Read on. Curse shall, curse shall thy be in the city. Uh-huh. And curse shall thy be in the field. My man right here, did the Bible say blessed shall thou be in the city? Read again from the top. Curse shall thy be in the city. What does that mean, curse shall thou be in the city? What does that mean, young man? We're my intellectuals out here. We're my God fan, God believing people out here. Where my Bible thumpers at out here? What does that mean? Read that again. Cursed shall thy be in the city. Sister, what does that mean when God said, Cursed shall thou be in the city? You can shout it out. What does that mean? Cursed shall thou be in the city. I know you got places to go. That's why I said shout it out. Shout it out. It's a classroom setting. When the Bible says, Cursed shall thou be in the city, what does that mean? Huh? That means Chicago, that's what it means. It means 71st and Jeffrey, baby. That's what it means. Read that again for him. Cursed shall thy be in the city. It ain't just Chicago, any city in the world, the Israelites is at the bottom. We the number one in section eight. We the number one with no fathers in the household. We the number one people that suffer out of, at the hands of gun violence. Number one in STDs. Number one in HIV. Anything bad, we suffer the most. Why? Because God said, Cursed shall thou be in the city. And also in the 16, 17, 18, 1900s, we were sold on the slave auction blocks throughout most of the cities here in America. Read on. And cursed shall thy be in the field. Big brother, what does that mean, cursed shall thy be in the field? You understand what that mean? Yeah, come, come on at me. You know what I mean? Remember when we was here in America throughout the South. Remember we had to pick cotton in Mississippi, Louisiana? That's, what, that's a curse from God. Why? Because God let you know that we the Israelites. Where you see yourself on this sign right here? Come over here, where you see yourself on this sign? Right here. Twelve tribes of Israel. We got the American blacks, it's the tribe of Judah. West Indian blacks, the tribe of Benjamin. So, if your forefathers, your ancestors, are of the West Indian blacks, like Jamaica, Haiti, uh, not Haiti, Jamaica, the islands like that, tribe of Benjamin. But if it's just regular black here in America, tribe of Judah. Where you see yourself? What's, what's your dad? What's, his, what's your dad from? Judah. That's the same tribe that Christ was from. You understand me? That was a black race. Show, that, show them that in Jeremiah 14 and 2. Understand that these people in the Bible is a black people. Our oppressor, he took our old book. He taught us lies with it. And, told, and said that I'm the master, you the slave. Pick my cotton. That's right. The Bible ain't saying that. Remember, we couldn't read for over 250 years. We couldn't read. So, of course, we believed them. But what you're going to find out is, this Bible's a black man book. And I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to prove it to you. Read what you got. Jeremiah! I'm chapter a, I, 14! I, I, I know you know, but I'm going to show it further for you and the people that, that's probably listening. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Uh-huh. Jeremiah! Start at verse 1. Verse 1. Uh-huh. And the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Uh-huh. you the Lord the dirt. Judah mourning. Said, God said Judah is in mourning. Mourning means you crying. You in a bad, you in a bad state. You sad. You sorrowful. Read. And the gates they are of language. Because our elders, our leaders was at the gates. The leaders that ran the city was at the gates. They told us, they told us what to do. God said we in mourning because ain't no more leaders in our community. Read. They killed Malcolm X. They killed Martin Luther King. They uh, Harriet Tubman died at an old age. They killed all our leaders. We ain't got no leaders no more. Read. They are black unto the ground. You see what God said about this people right here? Read that again about Judah from the top. They, brother, y'all listening? Come on. Judah mourneth. Uh huh. And it gates their own language. Come on. They are black. This people is black. 
The tribe of Judah is black, so who's the black race that God is talking about? That would have curses befall them for their disobedience. That's us. We the black race, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of the nation of Israel, that's cursed because of our disobedience. Oh, you thought you was here in Chicago out of coincidence. You thought y'all suffered slavery out of coincidence. Ain't no coincidence, bro. You understand me? Bring it All right, but listen. Keep the commandments, man. Yeriel ben Israel. All right, Yeriel ben Israel. Keep God's commandments, bro. You hear me? All right. Read on. Read on. Judah mourning. God said the Jews are in mourning, the real Jews. The fake Jews over there fighting in Palestine, they're not the real Jews. We the Israelites. They are the Israelis. They got in that land in 1948. That land truly belongs to you. Right. Read. And the gates still have language. Because our leaders, we ain't no leadership in the black community. Everybody either want a dollar from you, or they want some type of means from you. Read. They are black uh -huh. unto the ground. God said that this race you're talking about is black unto the ground. Right. You're talking about a black race. So who is this black race today, bro? What's, up, bro? What's your name? Dirk. Dirk. What's your, Dirk, do you have any questions for us? Yes, sir. And that's what my brother told me. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm ready to come home. Ready to come home? Oh, praise you. Where's home at? Home is within the feet. Okay, but where's our homeland at? I hope that I don't know. Show him that in Galatians 4 and 26. Because as you come home, you gotta understand where your homeland is at. You have to acknowledge your true nationality. So you say that you understand that you're an Israelite. How do you know that you're an Israelite? Okay. All of us as Israelites, he probably know he is. I'm going to show you how we know we are. Read what you got. My bad. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Uh -huh. Galatians 4, 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Come on. Which is the mother of us all. See this map right here? Where is Jerusalem at? Is it in the west? Is it in the east? Is it in North America? Or is it in South America? Is it in Africa? Or is it in Europe? Africa. Where are we from? Africa. We all know that we're from Africa, right? Where in Africa do we do originate from? Because the Bible just told you. Jerusalem. Jerusalem right here is on the northeast tip of Africa. They call this the Middle East. This ain't the Middle East. This is an extension of Africa. All this right here is still Africa. Right here from, is our land. From the Nile River to the Euphrates. All that is a promised land. Even part of a lot of, a lot of what we call today Africa, is, is directly the promised land. <laughs> you understand that? So Jerusalem is right here. Read that again. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. You see that? Because Jerusalem is above all nations. God intended us to be above all the nations on upon the face of the earth. They're supposed to come to us and pay us taxes. You understand that? They're supposed to be our servants. But because we because of sin, now we serve them. You understand that? Read on. Which is the mother of us all. See that Jerusalem is the motherland of us all. That's why when you hear people say that we come from Africa, that's true. We're in Africa, Jerusalem. That's right. You understand it? That's our capital, Jerusalem. You understand it? Now, now that you understand that we are the Israelites, we was made to forget. Give me that in uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Or is it verse 4? Verse 4. You understand that? You have to understand that we was made to forget because of our sins through slavery. Uh -huh. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Yep. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Who is he talking to? Look at verse 1. Verse 1. Uh -huh. The sin of Judah the sin is of rich. The sin of Judah. The sin of Judah. Now, you got to look at this sign right here. Because you know you're an Israelite, but there's 12 divisions of the Israelites. Okay. 12 families, 12 tribes. Right. Which tribe do you descend from? Is your forefathers of the American blacks here in America? You'd be from the tribe of Judah. If you are of West Indian descent, that's my Jamaican brothers and sisters. You'd be from the tribe of Benjamin. If you have any Puerto Rican in you, tribe of Ephraim. So where you see yourself? And the list goes on and on. Judah. That's who this people is. Judah is the so-called American blacks. Judah is what we call today the African Americans here in America and, other, and elsewhere in the earth. We the tribe of Judah. Now read what you got once, once more. 
verse 1. Uh -huh. The sin of Judah. The what? The sin of Judah. The sin of Judah. Brothers, what is sin out here? This is a classroom setting. I'm, I'm asking questions now. The Bible is our teacher. I'm just a mouthpiece. So the Bible says the sin of Judah. What is sin, brothers? Yes, sir. I, I'm going I'm to take your question, but I want you, I want to I want to ask you something. What is sin? Sin. S I N. Sin. Huh? You hear what he said? Anything that's done outside of the will of God. Here's the biblical explanation. Because the Bible explains itself. You just need a teacher to show you that, hey, this and this is saying the same thing. All right? Show them that. First John chapter 3, verse 4. So we are in the book of First John in the New Testament, the third chapter, the fourth verse. Read. Whosoever committeth sin. Whosoever amongst us commits sin. Right? Going outside the will of God, is, which he's 100% correct. If you commit sin, read. Transgressive also the law. You are also transgressing God's laws. Meaning God has a set of laws for his people that he governs us by. If you break one of these laws, that by definition is sin. Read on. For sin, for sin, is uh -huh. the transgression of the law. You see that sin is the transgression or breaking of God's laws. It's just very simple. The reason why we went into slavery was because of the transgressing of God's laws. That's right. You understand that? Like, for example, God gave us a law. He said, thou shalt not kill. Do we kill each other? Occasionally we do, right? God said, thou shalt not commit adultery. Do we sleep outside of uh, our wives? We get married. Do we sleep with other women? A lot of us have done that. Do women sleep with men that's not their husband? Do single people sleep with married people? God said, don't do that. What about stealing? Thou shalt not steal. Do we steal from one another? All of us, even if you haven't stolen individually, God judges us as a nation. The, the whole nation of Israel, our sins have gotten so bad, where the Lord said, you know what? I'm going to raise up a base nation, and they're going to conquer y'all, and you're going to have to serve them until I say so. Right. Give me that in 1 Kings chapter 8. Everything we say, we're going to back it up and show you out of the word of God. What's your name? Dirk and, Dirk and Molly. Molly? Molly. But so you look at that as I go over this. Again, what are we teaching? We're teaching you blacks and Hispanics. We are the Israelites, the Bible speaks of. No matter where you are on the earth, if you are a descendant of the slave trade or colonization, it could be a colonization in Africa, colonization in the Caribbean, colonization here in America, or enslavement anywhere, God said you are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Read what you got for them. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Uh -huh, this is a classroom setting, y'all. Listen up, listen up. If they sin against thee, if they, meaning the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, if they sin against thee, what sin? Molly. We just went over it. What sin? Right. That's the yeah, true. But what's the biblical way? He said transgressing God's laws. Sin is breaking God's laws. That's it. It's breaking the laws of God. Right? That's all sin is. Read that again. If they sin against thee, King Solomon is praying to God for his people. He said, if they sin against thee, read, for there is no man that sinneth not. Understand that all of us sin when we on the earth. Us the purple and y'all right here. But the difference is we have to keep God's laws. We understand that. We trying to share that information with y'all. He said, if you sin against, if they sin against thee and you be angry with them, read, and thou be angry with them uh -huh. and deliver them to their enemy. That's what happened, God. We sinned to the point where we was delivered to the hands of our enemy. You see this, brother? You see what happened to us in the coast of Africa? Throughout the Gold Coast of Africa? Throughout Europe? Come on. So that they carried them away captives. We was carried away captives. That's what these lines are for. We was carried from the shores of Africa. Right here through Angola. Through the Gold Coast, through the Windward Coast, through Sierra Leone, through uh, all these other places, and through Mozambique. The Muslims sold us as well. But I'm going to focus on this slave trade right here because right now we in Chicago, we in North America. So they sold us from Angola all throughout the ports in Charleston, South Carolina. Mississippi. You understand that? We was made to serve slavery right here. 
So read that again for right now, So that they carried them away captives. What are we going over? We're going over the fact that we was carried away captives because of our sins. Come on. Unto the land of the enemy. Into the land of the enemy. North America is the land of our enemies. You understand that? Because our enemies are in power here and they brought us here as captives. Even if you was one of the ones that stayed back in Africa, the British, the Dutch, the French, the Portuguese, they came and colonized on top of your land. Watch, hey, watch that trailer. They colonized on your land. Read on. Unto the land of the enemy, uh -huh. far or near, far or near from Jerusalem. If you're one of the ones that's from Africa, you're closer to our homeland, because our homeland is in Africa. If you're one of the ones here in Chicago, you're a little further. But we all went through the same thing. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, if you shall bethink ourselves, we must bethink and remember that we are the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the descendants of the lost tribe of the children of Israel. You have to remember that. We're not African American. We are not these funny names that they placed on us here in our enslavement, in this land. They, we are not these things. Because any, anything you want to know is in the Bible. It's the book of life. You understand me? I'm just the mouthpiece showing you that this and this is saying the same thing. You understand? That's all That's all we are. Read what you got. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10 is the prophecy. Yet the number of the children of Israel. The number of this race right here, the black and Hispanic race, you can't count them. You can't number us. I don't care if they do a census every 10 years on 2020. Uh, it's 1.6 million black people in Chicago. I don't care if they try to count us. You can't count us. You can't count us all. They say that we 13% of the population. BS. You can't count us. Read. Shall be as the sand of the sea. Can you count the sand that's on the seashore? Never. Absolutely not. Neither can you count the children of Israel. Read. Which cannot be measured nor number. You can't measure us nor number us. Read. And it shall come to pass. Uh-huh. That in the place where it was said unto them, uh -huh. ye are not my people. It was said to us here in America that we are not the people of God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Uh-huh. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. Read. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Because they told us you are not God's people. Your name is not Kuta, your name is Toby. That's what they did to us. You are no longer Judah, you are African American. They've been doing it so long, we just we just go over with these weird names now. We don't even consider it. Come on. Then it shall be said unto them, uh -huh. ye are the sons of the living God. Y'all are living this prophecy right now because you got men telling y'all that y'all are the sons of the living God. Now give me that in uh, 1 Kings in 8. Okay, we'll go back to that. 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 46. Mm -hmm. If they sin against thee. The they is you, the blacks, the Spanish, the Israelites. We sin against God, read. For there is no man that sinneth not. There's not no man on this earth that don't sin. Come on. And thou be angry with them. The point is, we sin to the point where God was angry with us as a race. Come on. And deliver them to the enemy. Uh-huh. He delivered us to the hands of our enemies. Read. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. And they carried us away captives to all these different parts here in America. Throughout the Caribbean. Throughout South America. Throughout Europe. Throughout the Indian Ocean. Read. Far or near. Uh -huh. Far or near from Jerusalem. Read. Yet. If they shall bethink themselves. That's what we have to do. We have to bethink ourselves. You got to put down the liquor, stop drinking, and we got to bethink ourselves. It's too early in the morning to be drinking, bro. You understand that? That means that you got, you're going through some pain. You're going through some trauma. Because it ain't even 1 o'clock, and you busting open a, a, a 40. You know why? Because you stressed out. But that beer can't medicate you. Only the Bible can medicate you. That's right. You understand right. me? All you're doing is killing your liver. Your liver. You understand? Because if you drink all throughout the day, that's, that's too hard on your, your, your liver and your kidneys, man. You know you're going to have kidney failure and all that. Come on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves mm -hmm. in the land whether they were carried captive. You see that you got to bethink yourself. You an Israelite, bro. Brother, you an Israelite. Sister, you are an Israelite. Read. And repent. And we must repent. You must repent in the land of your captivity. Because some of y'all might say, oh, it's not the time. Now it's not my time. No, that God said you need to repent in the land. I don't give a damn if you slaves. He said you need to repent in the land that I caused you to serve uh, your, your captives in. Read. And make supplication unto thee. Make supplication means you got to pray to God with your hands wide open, facing the east. And I'm going to show you that. Y'all thought the Muslims prayed to the east because they got it from, uh, they made that up. They got that from our book. Malcolm X and Elijah Muhammad and them, they got it from the Holy Bible. 
to pray towards the east. Because the Holy Land is in the east. Read. And make We're supplication. And make supplication unto thee in uh -huh. the land that carried them captives. Uh -huh. In the land that they carried them captives. Sin. Say what? We have sin. So when you pray to God, you say, God, we have sin in your prayers. Read. And have done perversely. We have done perversely. That's what you got. That's what he want to hear. Come on. We have committed wickedness. God, I want to hear we have committed wickedness. I've committed such and such, God. Forgive me. Whatever your sin is, you like to get drunk? Lord, I got a drinking problem. You understand know me? Whatever it is, you like looking at look, whatever, pray to God that he take that sin away from you. Come on. Verse 28. Uh -huh. And so we turn unto thee with all their hearts. So before we physically return unto God back in the east, we got to return to him in our heart. We got to return to him according to the laws, according to the Bible. Read. And with all their soul. And with all our soul. Read. In the land of their enemies. Uh huh. So, Which, brother, before you walk off, let me ask you a question. Before I'm going to let you go, but I need to ask you a question. Who would you say that you are according to the Bible? And what must you do? It's a two part question. Uh huh. You must pray to the east. What does it mean to repay? And then what do you do? Keep God's laws. That's right. I'm going to leave you with this. St. John 14, 15. I'm going to leave you with this. Very easy. I know you got to go about your business. So, But I want this in your mind as you go. John chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me, keep my commandments. You know what the Son of God said? So once you understand you're an Israelite, you pray to the east, you repent of your sins in your prayer. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's a simple thing. You be one of the Israelites that's not out here sinning. Keep God's commandments. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. All the commandments, you keep them to the best of your ability. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.